London, May the 4th, 1895. Dearest kid, if you're reading this, then I'm dead. Turmoil spreads like wildfire throughout our city. I've come to believe that the Moorgate Accord, the secret treaty between the forces of good and evil, has been broken. Two decades have passed in the blink of an eye. I never mustered the courage to tell you the horrors that claimed my youth and your parents' lives. The truth is too intricate to elaborate on paper. The answers you seek are within these very walls. I'm assured you'll use them to quench the rising flames of chaos. Love, your only uncle, Ernest Hawkes. Hello everyone, Wardfire here, and welcome to Vermilion Watch More Gate Accord, this new series of Apex. Um, I gotta say, I really enjoyed how how Mr. Ernest Hawks was so calm. Like the voice that the calm voice acting was great. Just like, if you're reading this, I am dead. It's like Okay. D good. Like what? But anyways. Let, let's play. Uh, sure, custom. No, actually. Well, yeah, I mean custom, but. Um. Yeah, sure. That's what I usually do. Um. Do we need a tutorial for everything? I mean, usually have. Doesn't matter. Um. Okay, maybe we can try this this time. Sure, why not? You can change the difficulty mode during the game by selecting the menu button. Blah blah blah. Yes, good. London, 1895. It's the twilight years of Queen Victoria's reign. The city is a bustling industrial center, though many had suffered behind the merciless march of progress. I'm pretty sure Sherlock Holmes is alive during Queen Victoria's reign. Oh, he is. <gasps> It's London, 1895. Sherlock Holmes is here somewhere. What? Oh, yeah, actually, wasn't that the point of this game? To have a Today, you'll learn the truth about our family's history. We'll meet my friend here at the Moorgate Tavern, and all will be told. <laughs> Uncle Ernest! How can I help him? Well, we managed to talk to our uncle. That's cool. Now we have to help our uncle. Oh my goodness, the scene is moving. What? I love his accent. This won't do any good. Who would open a tavern in such a dark alley? This won't do any good. Jim Beam. Oh dear. Ah, uh, I need a more powerful weapon. Could my uncle's gadget help? You clicked a plus item. Plus items can be examined further and combined with other items from your inventory. I hope reassembling this will make it work. It still works! Here goes nothing! Stun contraption. Ow! That was a close one. Come closer. We don't have much time. Oh, look at this. How this looks. Like, small, very easy to click. Oh! We're looking for these that he showed us in the intro! That's so funny, though. Ha ha! And this is some sort of morphing object? I don't... Oh, maybe for the scenes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well yeah, done. here we go. The beast may rouse any minute. 
So listen carefully. Open the suitcase. Okay. Ah, uh, oh my goodness, there's a morphing object. Oh my goodness. All right. Um Some hidden object scenes contain morphing objects. The indicator in the lower left corner shows how many you found. 15, all right. Now we're looking for boxing gloves and a mouse trap. Envelope. Teapot, sign, and apple. Yeah, find four objects in eight seconds. We're so good. Candlestick, basket, and wrench. Are you a wrench? Okay. Yes, you are. Now, who is a candlestick? You are a candlestick. There we go. You'll find an heirloom inside that I intend to pass on to you. It needs to be reassembled. Keep it safe. And don't lose it. Okay. Um. Okay, how do we do this? What is the point of this? Okay. Move things. Looks like. Basically. My wounds are too deep. There's a vial that can ameliorate the pain. Please find it for me. In our house, look behind the family painting. Now go. But, but, Uncle. Okay, so when he said ameliorate the pain, he mean he meant to burn myself to ashes? This can't be happening. Get to safety. He can't wake up yet. Do we have everything here? <laughs> Run! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's pretty funny. Run! Jump! Oh, oh, I didn't realize this was actually okay. I'm sorry. Ah! But it was just a cutscene. Ah. Proficient parkourist. Haha! <laughs> Get in! There's a monster. Who cares? Get it. I don't know. It was, it was funny. Phileas Fogg at your service. You must be young Hawks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to, to recognize Phileas Fogg? Wait, 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 wait. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Game, hold on. Phileas Fogg. I feel like... Phil was Fogg. Phone? That's not... That's not... That's not what I'm trying to write! St let me...
Aha! Of course. Phileas Fogg is the protagonist in the 1873 Jules Verne novel Around the World in 80 Days. Fogg attempted to circumnavigate the late Victorian world in 80 days or fewer for a wager of 20,000 pounds with members of London's Reform Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. I, I know I, I read about this game, it takes place in London, and, and will feature lots of known characters, so... <clears throat> I know it. I've even listened to the book. I mean, I should know who Phyllis Fogg is, but... Now we continue. I was supposed to meet your uncle at the tavern. Where is he? Uh... Yeah, slight change of plans. He's a pile of ashes now. He left the amulet to you? That must mean... But now is not time for mourning. Can you describe the attacker for me? Describe the attacker. Uh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Press arrows to rotate various body parts. I don't, I don't, oh. I think... Oh, actually, it tells you. You just have to make it fit the red. Sorta. Yeah. That seems to fit the best. I guess. <clears throat> I still feel that this is right. No, 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 that is the head. There are no more parts we can decide. Okay. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. But then it has to match the red. I think I'm getting closer. Looks about right. Um. Maybe? Something's off about the face. Oh. is off about his face. <laughs> what exactly is off about this face? Oh, that's better. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. That's the best I can do. I hope it'll help. That's impossible. That is the spitting image of Mr. Hyde. But he was executed 20 years ago. Mr. Hyde? I never read that book, but... His real name was Dr. Henry Jekyll. But this mystery can wait for now. We need to get to your house. Oh, this is so great with all these characters. <laughs> What's happening? This man seems to know a lot about my uncle, but I've never seen him before. He looks worn out by experience, just like my uncle. Ernest, are you there? Nope. 
Isabel, I never expected to see you at this part of town. I don't have time for pleasantries, Phileas. I need to speak with Ernest. It's urgent. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Ernest was attacked. He's dead. Isabel, wait! Who is that? Leave her be for now. I'll explain later. We need a key for the door. It's your house too, right? Uh, maybe? They both seem genuinely upset about my uncle. Every location in the game contains a hidden sign. Yes, I know I've already found one. Thanks that you're telling me now. I presume there wasn't one. I'm gonna pretend it wasn't one in the carriage. I can't remember anyone ever living in that house. Crescent Street, Mayfair. They say there's no place like home, but it won't be the same without Uncle Ernest. There must be a spare key nearby. Okay. Family's paintings family paintings have been here for as long as I can remember. Oh, <gasps> kitty cat! At least I still have my cat, Jacob. Uncle Ernest kept all his all of his favorite memorabilia on the mantelpiece. I can see it in his eyes. He knows this room as well as I do. It's uncanny. He's just gonna sit down and stare at his watch. Alright. Oh no, he actually changed to the newspaper. Oh wow, wait, he... Oh, look at that, he actually changes things. He's alive. The The family looks happy in the painting. I'm not sure how you're seeing that, but okay. My uncle's amulet it could fit here. Ernest told me you're bright. Well, what are you waiting for? Go through. Was this built into the house before I was born? Oh, maybe this is uh, the, the neighboring house where no one has ever lived and it's all boarded up. And that's because Uncle Ernest technically owns that as well. It's too dark. There must be a light switch nearby. It's the entire house next door! Ha! Young Hawks, is Ernest dead? If you're entering this chamber alone, it can mean nothing else. By blood heritage, you're the rightful owner of this house now. I would like you to be Phileas Fogg's servant, but I'm not sure. I'm Rufus, your uncle's oh. advisor. Explore the chamber at your leisure. Rufus, I'm sorry. Rufus. Okay. I wonder how long he's been here. The edges of some scenes can be selected in order to view more of that scene. This is one of them. Okay, I don't care. Game. Thank you. Along with this house and my services, you've inherited the responsibility of the amulet. For the better part of his life, Ernest Hawks was a member of the Vermilion Watch, a clandestine league assembled to protect queen and country. Their mission was to fight criminals with dark agendas, operating in the shadows of our civilized society. It was disbanded 20 years ago when the Vermilion Watch and undisclosed criminal organization signed a treaty called the Morgate Accord. Your head must be spinning. Take some time to process this. I'll be here if you require any assistance. No, no, I'm good. I have so many questions, I don't even know where to start. Start with the map. Respected widow disappears. Lady Pemberton, widow of the respected judge Lord Basil Pemberton, disappeared yesterday from her household in Belgravia. Looks like Uncle Ernest had powerful friends. Scotland Yard! <gasps> it's Lestrade! Evidence number 17I721812, delivered personally to Ernest Hawks, Inspector G. Lestrade! It's Lestrade from Sherlock Holmes! Property of Lady Ophelia P 
Pemberton. Uncle Ernest got the evidence directly from Scotland Yard. Okay, is this is this also someone who's no? I mean, at this point, I'm just like, are we supposed to know all these characters? Who knows? Lady Pemberton. No. Um, what did it say? Ophelia Pemberton. I think so. Well, Pemberton is a name, but oh, whatever. Might not be important. Wonder if Lady Pemberton is was important to my uncle somehow. Ernest was looking into the disappearance of Lady Pemberton. Yes. I can locate her using the ancient art of scrying. I'll need a map and one of her personal belongings. Isn't scrying some sort of divination? I hope it works. I have that stuff. You can have this earring and this uh, map. It's been a long time since I've done this. You'll have to mark the locations while I call out what I see. I'm willing to try anything. I hear church bells ringing. I smell the steam of locomotives. There's one more. Come on. Wow, why can I not find it? <gasps> what? Oh, that's why. Mm, I see the black smoke of factory furnaces. There are two possible locations. Marked map. Lady Pemberton is in the industrial district. I can't tell if she's still alive. Good luck finding her. I hope we find her before it's too late. I should check back with Phileas. No, we're not we're not we're not done in here. This place is huge! Alright. Now we can check back with Phileas in the next episode! This is interesting! Intriguing. Thank you all very much for watching.